Oh uh, yeah, hey, how's it going everybody? It's yours truly, the True Control here. Today I'm playing some more of that Metal Gear Solid 1 on Xbox, the uh, Master Collection Volume 1. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Before I get into this, I just want to say I hope everybody had a great and blessed Christmas. I know I sure have. This is the finale of the game. We're gonna have multiple phases of uh, Liquid Snake, the boss fight. So uh, let's go ahead and load this bad boy up. Alrighty, let me get. Do I have any chaff? Yes, I do. Do do. -do. Take that ration. There's another camera up there, I believe. Still another chaff out there. Okay. Hey, they got this place protected. Yeah, I'll get them stinger missiles. Still another one. Okay. I'll take that. Let's head on in. Give me a quick smoke. Okay, I should be good here. There it is, Metal Gear Rex. My favorite boss fight. We're gonna take his big ass down in a second. See what's over here. I think there are some goodies. Yep. More shaft. That's perfect. Let's throw this out there. Still another one. Oh shit. Take that ration. Don't want to freeze to death. Whew! Just missed him. Alright, shot the other side. There's the ladder, okay. What do you want? Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah. Thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Oswald said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does well, his name is Otacon. Like I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Okay. I will take this. I don't know if there's a guard up here. I don't remember. I beat Integral weeks ago. Okay, what now? Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He that was, was a fast. pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. There might be a guard on this level. 
I think it's just that one. I'll take this. Oh, I think I saw something. Okay, that's, that's liquid and ocelot in the command center. I think there is one guard. Hold up. No. Nope. No, I don't want that. Okay, there is a guard. I see him walking. Okay, he's on the other side. All right, we should be good. Come on, get up there. Anything up here? What the fuck do you want now? Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty mm, I just cracked my shoulders. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. Mm. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Mm. Well, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? You know he eavesdropping. I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the Star 3 Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Okay. Okay, didn't mean to do that. If you're new to this channel, I don't really like talking current during cutscenes. That's why I uh, stay uh, silent. Okay, let's take out this guard. Where'd you go? Dropped his ass. 
Don't want that. I want this equipped. I will take this. I'll take that. Let me quit that level 7 card back. Okay, what do you want now, Otacon? Snake. Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Will do. All right. Okay, nothing over here. I was going to say, how'd I walk past that and they didn't see me? Okay, time to go on in. I'm going to get me something to drink while this cutscene plays. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No, there's been a change. The Gotta new get target the is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see... Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. 
An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Oh, Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. Probably stuck it in his ass. By the way, <laughs> he did. what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Good old codec time. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. It is. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Uh-oh. Damn. Better go get the key. The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. There's no. I mean, way they kind of like already knew he was I there. That's how long get. Watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. Uh oh, let me equip this. And I think I'm gonna go with the famous. Oh shit! Yeah, get out of here. Do do. -do. No time to play peekaboo. Go 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 upstairs. Oh shit! Homie was right behind me. Didn't know it. I should be good now.
Did that reload? I should be good. Let's go get this key. I'll definitely take those. I might have passed the stairs. I think I did. We can get rid of the FAMAS now. I'll take the SOCOM. I feel so stupid. The stairs are right there. I mean, not, not the stairs, the ladder. Okay. I know the ladder's there, but let's see if there's any more goodies. I only got two rations. Nope. No, I'm actually gonna unequip. I'm gonna leave them equipped. Alrighty. Do do. Let me equip my detector. Let's go get this pal key. No, we need that back. Got the pal key. Doop doop. Okay, I don't think I need this anymore. Uh, what was I going for? Level seven card. All right, time to take this trip back up. No, we're not throwing punches in the air. Go in here. I know there's at least one guard down there. Yep, I knew it. Just wait for him to walk his happy ass back. Let me take one of these. I don't even need these anyway. Come on around that corner, buddy. Whenever you're ready. Come on. I ain't got all day. Okay, he's coming back. Got his fuck ass. Let's equip the SOCOM back. Nope, can't collect that. I already got it. Oh, a ration. Let me pop that bad boy. Okay. Whoa. Let's get a chaff grenade going in here. I want to see if there's anything in it. Yeah, I'll take that ration. Pal key. There we go. That's the room temperature one. Awaiting pal code number two. Okay, that takes care of pal code number one. I think next is to freeze the key. Now pal number two, freeze the key. Yeah, 
There we go. Shit. Oh, I was trying to get his ass from a distance. Got his ass. Ah. Bye bye. Get up the ladder, bitch. I should be good here. Just got a fucking alert. Crap. Okay. You think I go too far for this second key? I'm gonna need these, I know that. Some chaff. that works out here. Nope. I throw another one. Okay, now we just freeze the key. Still yellow. Still yellow. Doesn't look like there's any goodies in here. Guess I'll lay down a little bit and see if it'll turn. Take a quick smoke of the vape, sip of the drink. Nope. Whenever you decide to turn yellow, buddy. I mean, uh, blue. I wish I can pick that up and use it. Well, I got an idea. There we go. Take a picture of that. Save that bad boy. Okay, the cap pal key is blue. I'm gonna need them chaffs to run back up the stairs. Oh, I'm gonna need my car key to open the door. All right, sorry about that. The game froze on me. It's had to do all that shit over. I ain't got no rations, but the uh, pal key is blue. So I got to hurry back and input it. Let's get a chaff out there real quick. Put that level seven back. Okay. Come on, get in there, get in there. So one thing I noticed about the Master Collection, it does have parts where the game freezes. You gotta do, if you didn't save, you gotta do a lot of stuff over again. I don't think I need my chaff anymore, I just need a pistol. I gotta go, go, go.
Go on, get up there. Get up there. Ain't no time to shine no box. Come on, come on. No time to play uh, peek around the corner. Or over the rail, whatever game you're playing. Come on, no shadow boxing. Let's go. Let's see if I can get this out in time. No, nope, I'm about to go over there. Let me get a foam off just in case. No, I think I'll take the pistol. There we go. Let me equip the pal, it's still blue. Let's get the chaff grenade. There we go. Now we just gotta heat the key. Pal code number two, confirm. Awaiting pal code number three. Okay, there goes pal code number two. I gotta really be fast with this last one. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. Before I do that, I'm gonna save this game. I'm not doing all this shit again. What is it, Snake? Override, yeah. Snake, Leo I really don't care what you got to say, bitch. I probably could have sneaked past some cameras. Wait for him to come back out. Hey, I'm gonna right in the dick. Just gave him the uh, what's that game? Where you shoot people in the X-rays, and you can like see the bullet going through their testicles. Sniper Elite. Yeah, I just gave him the Sniper Elite treatment. I may or may not do a walkthrough that game, I don't know. Okay, we gotta do this code thing one last time. Come all the way back down. Warm the key and come all the way back. Do do do. I will equip my chaff because I'm going to need them again. Nope, no time to play Pico Boo around the rail. There we go. It's not gonna be too far. Okay, we got enemies this time. Oh, just sneak past them. Okay, it's just the crows in here. Okay, got a ration. Damn, I needed that. Okay, I got everything I need. Let's head on up.
Take me a little smoke. Almost there. Okay, what do you want? Snake. It's about Naomi Hunter. What you about should talk her? to the colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, Even the Batman like treatment. to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Must Call have Googled me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Yep. Okay, we're finally getting there. Okay, let's try and watch out for these mines. Didn't work. Ran right into it. Let's pop this ration. Just to get another ration. I hear you. Where are you? Right there. I'll take that. Uh-oh. I gotta get away from him. Any more? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I died like 12, 15 a million times with those damn landmines. Or claim wars. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this now. I know I'll get more later. To the top we are, finally. Okay, let me pull out my mind detector just in case. Got some FAMAS bullets. So comes full. Let's try the other side. FAMAS bullets. FAMAS, I'm at a ration. 
Anything up here? Of course not. Okay, let's go heat the key. Oh, let me save right here. What's up, Snake? Save. Snake, don't give up. Oh, shut up. Oh, it opened without the car key. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get them stones. Pull on that. Let's try and get this ration without falling to the lake of fire. Ugh, I finally did it. I must have fell out this thing like 10 times. I had to edit out the video. Okay, pal key, where are you? Get this baby nice and hot. While we're waiting, I'm gonna take a smoke. Yep, still yellow. It might take a while. There we go, got it nice and hot. Like a hot and ready Little Caesars pizza. Alright, let's sprint back. Okay, got to be quick with this one. Come on. Let's do all this all over again. Take the elevator down, walk through the uh, cold area, climb Metal Gear Rex again, and that's going to trigger the boss fight. I hope this thing stays red hot. Do recall there's a turret right there in that corner. Okay, let's wrap and do this. I'm still working on the quit vaping thing. I, I know of y'all, I told you I quit smoking cigarettes. I just gotta get rid of the vaping nicks. Make sure that bitch is still hot ridden. I'm actually gonna save right here just in case this game freezes on me again. You caught Snake? War he sung is toil. Oh, shut up, bitch. Okay, who's calling me now? Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, I can see that. Is what the colonel says true? Yes. But not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents look like. Don't grab me one more drink while this I is playing. my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, 
You're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long until I met my big brother. I don't stay hydrated. I him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. Gray Fox. What? He was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. My apologies. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. He was plot you plot. me. Not exactly. I've never played the Metro, I, I mean the Retro totally Metal Gears. What about liquid in the I started with solid <laughs> and out and worked my, my way up. Them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja, I mean Gray Fox, he's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. Mm. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? Uh-oh, <laughs> bitch busted. <laughs> Damn, it's not like she got slapped. Naomi. Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? 
Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Alrighty. Yeah, one thing about the Master Collection, besides Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, it does have uh, Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, and uh, Snake's Revenge. I've never played those games before. Okay, let's hurry up and get back. Do I still got... Yep, it's still hot. Let me equip my pistol. I think there's guards still in here. Yes, there are. No bullshit. We're just going to run through. Let me throw out a chaff. If I have any left, I got two. Oh, I got some more chaffs. Nice. Let me equip my pistol back. Yeah, ration. I'm going to need them for this fight that's coming up. Is my pal key still bright hot? Yes, it is. I might want to equip this. Okay. This is the last boring part of the game. Just gotta climb this bitch one more time. Do do do. Come on. No, no, no. Stop shadow boxing. And as usual, I think that one guard is still there. He is. Let's see if I can get him before he hits that corner. Damn. Okay, I should be good. Just running in behind him. Oh, that was a close one. Let me get the chaff out. Let's see if this bad boy is still a hot red. Where's the pal key? Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Possibly went wrong. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. Hmm. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. 
You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Uh-oh. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to me, dear brother. Liquid. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Uh oh. Let's do a quick save before this game resets me off. Uh, pauses again or screws up. Okay, man, we won't have time to talk. Oh, shit. That's what I need to talk to. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. All right. I'll take that ration. How I many I got now? Three? Perfect. Saw the gun. I hacked into security. Awesome. Snake. I'm opening the door. Thank you. Let's get on out of here. There you are, Liquid. I see you. Time for the confrontation. Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Hmm. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. 
Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. We'll forget Sniper Wolf. Bug in the virus's programming. Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... All clones. Twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. <laughs> You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? That's got to suck. But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. Yeah, but you definitely got Stockholm Syndrome. Him. I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah! Here we go. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. No shit. How do I stop it? What a rocket launcher. Crazy how Snake takes on an unstoppable weapon with a rocket launcher. Literally is the best soldier. Time for the finale. The climax of this great game. Alrighty. Let's equip these bad boys. There are items scattered throughout the uh, area, but I wouldn't recommend staying long distance too long. Because of that. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Rex. Damn, I just got R. Kelly with the dick laser. Damn, I got R. Kelly again. Take this. I gotta stay a good mid range to him. Okay, Liquid, come on. Damn. How did I miss that? Come on. Got his ass. Oh, he's gonna fire the missiles. Damn. Come on. How did I miss that?
Take that, bitch. Come on. Got his ass. Ah, come on. Come on. Got his ass. Turn around for daddy. Take a hot load to the face. Got his ass. Yeah. How you like them apples? Fucked up, I used all five of my rations. Did that do it? No, it didn't do it. There he is, Frank Yeager, aka Gray Fox. Also known as the Cyborg Ninja. Gray Fox, the name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So it is you. You look terrible, Snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell! to make the second phase a lot easier. Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Uh, no! Fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! No! It's no good. I can't do it. Uh. I can finally die. No, I can't well, do it. Well, let me do it. his ass up.
R.I.P. Cyborg Ninja. You're gonna pay for that. Time to do it again. Ah, ah, ah! Almost got stepped on. Okay, open wide, bitch. Let's try it again. How did I miss it? Let's get that ration while his back is turned. Open wide, bitch. How did I miss that? Open wide. Damn, I should have known better. I had to stay closer to him. Okay, here you go, uh, liquid. Open wide for daddy. Yep, that's why I'm not trying to go long distance and collect more supplies. Open wide. Got his ass. No, you don't. We're gonna play Ring Around Rosie with your ass. Oh, he's backing up. He's backing up. He's trying to get the distance so he can shoot the missiles. Can't have that long range. Come on, turn around. I don't want no back shots. I want the face shot. Come on. Oh, you're not going to arc killing me with the PP laser. Well, I'm going to give you a face shot. Damn. I just got arc killing. Twice in a row. Damn, it's third time to charm? Nope. Come on, we got this. One more hit, one more hit, he's down. Come on, buddy. Bitch, take this. Got his ass. Snake. Mm-hmm, not so tough now. Crush you into dust. You were saying? Down goes Rex. Just got knocked unconscious. Enjoy some smokes on this cutscene, please. Sleeping late as usual. A snake. Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things oh, are different now. With they all are. the lies and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. 
After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll Boy, be wants that bag. chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is mm -hmm. balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Th that was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Yeah, created. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. AKA the Naked was Snake. wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. Mm. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Why yes. didn't Liquid take Snake's shirt off? Six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I, two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. Bummer. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Hmm. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. Huh, interesting. The genome soldiers. That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. I'm they black, I don't know what the fuck that means. Numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! <sighs> 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> and that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. 
The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes. They too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. I don't know what the hell that is. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're hmm. telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. To do that, first, I will kill you. Hmm, doesn't sound like that's gonna happen. Look behind you! Mel! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Well, we'll do that. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. Hmm. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Yes, it is. Colonel, 
I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? Uh-oh. What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This a Lincoln this is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Typical of Smart. the government. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. That's just messed up. Farewell. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. Yeah, let's do this. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. That ain't happening, buddy. I'm gonna fuck your ass up. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Okay. So I gotta whoop your ass first. If you win, you might still be able to save her. I am gonna win. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. It does look pretty hot. We'll fuck you up. Have at you, Snake. So be it. Take that, bitch. Turn around, house kick me. You failed. Come here. Make this ass whooping. Ooh, take that. Ooh, you gotta be quicker than that, liquid. Woo! Just stop that around, house kick me. Take that. Thank you. Bam! Got hit with a two piece. I can see that. Take this. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Gotta get out that corner, buddy. It's going to blow. Ooh, I got roundhouse kicked. Oh, you missed that roundhouse, buddy. Oh. Oh, I just got speared like Goldberg. Get your ass off. Come on, get your ass back up. Get your ass down again. Get your ass back up. Come on, let's do this. Oh! Lay them out. Come on, come on. Woo, kick your ass down again. Come on. 
Woo, he got one more hit and he's out. Come on. How'd I miss that? <laughs> Bitch. Bye bye. Meryl. I had to take a victory smoke for that. Meryl? I'm actually gonna grab me another drink. I'm getting thirsty. Snake? Is that you? Snake. Oh, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl. It must have been terrible. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. So long as you fall in love. That's my Kodak. See who we got. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? Will do. I'm gonna take a real good care of her. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Alrighty. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? It's Otakon, you dumb bitch. He's, he's fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. I'm surprised she can still walk after getting shot with three sniper bullets. <laughs> She just hit a cannonball, what the fuck? Snake. No. It started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene after all. Yeah, that sucks. Way. Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. 
Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. Hurry. Where'd she find that at? Mm, looking good. Her arm's still gonna be cold. Alright, time to escape. Do -do -do. Hurry! Let me get that ration. I'll drive. Yes, you will. Uh oh. We're not going to that first no, one. Oh, oh shit! Bitch! Oh, let me in! Let me in! I got time for this. Let me get that second ration. There we go. I'm trying to. There we go. Time to get the fuck out of here. But these controls are all messed up. I got two rations, nice. Take that, bitch. Yes, we will. I just did, drive. We got this. We'll never make it. Yes, we will if you should shut the fuck up. Come on. He's dead. And he's dead too. Okay, that's our driving. Might as well load up. Not yet, Snake. Not yet? Okay. It's not over yet. We'll see about that. Liquid. Come on, Liquid. Take this bitch. We're gonna get this work. Take that. There, we just got ran from behind, but not in a good way. Take this. Take this, motherfucker. Damn, he just loves ramming us from behind. Got his ass. Get the fuck back. No, you're not. Let me shot me. Back up, Liquid. Shit. Okay, this first person mode ain't working. Take that, bitch. I'm on my last ration. I don't want to die. Get him, get him, get him. Crap, come on. Bro, I'm dying. Crap, almost there. Did we get him? Looks like we got him. Crazy, I just beat this game with a cunt here alive. Are you okay? 
Yeah, just a little shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Not you. Snake! Now you're gonna die. Die. Crazy how he dies that way. After the numerous boss battles we had. Hey, at least we got the good ending. Probably gonna replay this game again and get the uh Otacon ending where I submit to the torture. If he's dead, offline though. Means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Nice. Arrested. I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Yeah, don't mention it. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. You do? A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Oh, we will. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Not really. Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. Yeah, he did. He so fought with to every him. ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. 
He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Each what are Snake ever clapped Meryl's cheeks? Written into <clears throat> their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was. Who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Mother Dear Soul has always had an interesting story. To pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I run like a perfectly good snowmobile's there. And how she sees on side of the that in the cave. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep yep. it. The bandana for the good ending. Of what? You get the stealth if you get the uh, Otacon ending. Or the first time we met. A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. 
I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life. Time to roll out. Riding off into the sunset. In the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. A total destruction. You didn't even give me time to read it. I'm not even going to read this one. Okay. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life and then live. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. Ooh. Well, Alrighty, it's the trigger tray here. It's finally over. Middle Gear Solid 1 is complete. Thank you for supporting this journey. Many more adventures to come. Uh, before I go, I just want to say yes, I will be playing Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, next. So, you're going to really enjoy that one. But, uh, if you've been watching, please, thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and, uh, we'll be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.